All right, let's talk about the number one progress killer. You might be doing it unconsciously, but if you are doing it, this will stop you from progressing the way you want to progress. All right, so let's dive into it. The number one progress killer as a freestyle dancer is this sentence, I've heard it before. You probably didn't expect that, but when you say I've heard it before, you kind of create resistance to this information, right? And this is something that we don't really pay attention to it because we usually think about it unconsciously. And when you say, I've heard it before, or I know this, or I've learned this before, I, I know this, I, I, I've learned this before, this creates resistance to this information. Because think about it this way, dancing is not something that you do once, it's a lifestyle. So there is a lot of repetition to the same thing over and over again. You need to hear about the same thing over and over again. You need to listen to the same thing over and over again. You need to practice the same thing over and over again. And probably what I'm saying to you right now, unconsciously you are saying, oh, I've heard this before. Someone told me that before. And this is an educator of something that can prevent you from not only taking the information, practice the information, but it will stop you from, for prog from progressing on a regular basis. This is a very subtle thing and no one really talk about it and you might think, oh, it's not that important, but it can really prevent you from getting better and better and better as a dancer because repetition is key to get to the level that you want to be you know because it's like saying that uh, because I've done 10 push-ups once I'm done I don't need to do push-ups anymore I don't need push-ups anymore it doesn't work this way push-up is something that even if you know about it you know how to do it you need to do it on a regular basis you need to maintain this right so I give you this simple example of push-up to you know to illustrate my point but then dancing is exactly the same when you hear something when you hear a good information that you know already don't just take it for granted it's another opportunity to add it to your memory and save it all right because here's the thing most people know a lot about a lot of things right so that's the first stage you know about this you've heard of, you've heard of it so now you know about it okay but there is a difference between knowing something and understand it understand something is the second level when you know something okay you just know about it you've heard about it okay now the second step is to understand it when you really understand it, you truly understand okay, how it works or how this technique works or how this move works. You start to understand it and you start to integrate it in your dance. Now, the, the third level is to leave it. All right? So, you know about it, you understand it, you leave it. A lot of people, they just know about something and they stop there. Some people, they know about something, they understand it, which is already a good step. But now, are you leaving it? All right? Okay, I'm going to give you another example. Let's talk about real estate investment. Okay, that's something completely different. You pop, if I tell you, do you know about how to, do you know about real estate investment? You will tell me, uh, yeah, I know about it. I kind of know how it works. All right? You invest in property and then you resell it for a higher price so so yeah you know about it you've heard about it you've got an idea about it now do you understand it that's a different story okay maybe you understand it because you studied you studied it and you 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 kind of understand I you truly understand how it works that's great 
but do you live it? Are you actually an investor yourself? You see what I mean? So that's what I mean when I'm saying living it. So when you want to, when you are learning something, when you know about a move or a technique or a concept, let's say isolation, you know about isolation, okay, you know uh, the principle of isolation, you know how it works, okay, that's good. You understand it, that's great. Do you actually live it? When you leave it, it's become part of your style. It's become part of your dance, right? So you actually leave it to a point that you actually master it, okay? So that's the third step. But the fourth step is to maintain it, yeah? So not only you need to know about it, you understand it, and then you leave it, but because you are leaving it doesn't mean you need to stop here. It's like the push-ups. If you are doing push-ups, okay you understand how it works you leave you leave it so you you're, you're doing push-up on a regular basis so the moment you stop doing push-up for one month two months three months four months what's happened you see so you have to maintain it because otherwise you will lose the level make sense so the same thing about dancing and this is something the reason why i'm saying this is i've been doing it and I've, and, and, and I've done it so much uh, until to a point where I, I started to realize, okay, that's not a good thing actually, thinking that I know this before or I've heard this before. I stopped gathering the information because I think that I know it and I, you know, and, and that's it. And I shouldn't not do that. That's why uh, people highly recommend that when you read a book, if you like this book, Read it over and over again, maybe once a year or twice a year. There's a reason for that. There are a lot of information, even that you, for example, you read the book and you like the book. Okay, that was good. That was interesting. Boom. Next time when you read it, you discover something that you, you didn't catch the first time. So very important, guys. Whenever you catch yourself saying, oh, I've heard this before. I know this before. Oh, yeah, it's always the same thing. No. Catch yourself doing this and change this habit because this is something that uh, it, it can become so it, it can become a habit that you do on a regular basis and then you do it unconsciously and it create resistance from getting the information so you can actually not only know about it you understand it you leave it and you maintain it all right so that's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time and the only way to go to those to those different steps until you maintain this level and you keep on maintaining maintaining this level is through repetition okay so don't neglect the power of repetition yeah as a freestyle dancer sometimes you can think oh that's annoying man i've done this before i've you know people keep telling me okay musicality is this way i need to work this way i need to do this and this and that yeah i've been training on that i know that man okay i've heard this before the moment you start thinking this way you don't know yet but you are actually stopping yourself from progressing yeah so very important do not neglect this phrase I've heard this before I know this all right if you know it that's great that's cool go to the next step and then the next step until you truly leave it and then you maintain it so that's it for today guys and as usual if you find value from this video be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with all the videos coming all right so other than that thank you for watching this video I appreciate it we take soon take care bye bye Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to develop your freestyle dance to the next level, then the Beyond the Move Academy might be exactly what you are looking for. And the good thing is you can actually start today for free, all right? So if you'd like more details about this, simply click on the YouTube card here to have, and you will go on my website to have much more details about that, all right? So uh, I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Bye-bye.